There are multiple ways to add text behind an object inside DaVinci Resolve. The best way to do it really just depends on the type of shot that you're working with. The first two scenarios I will walk you through, you can do inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And the last three, you have to be on the studio or paid version of DaVinci to use the effects. The first scenario is gonna be some objects with some simple shapes. For this example, I'm using a drone shot of some buildings. Let's just say we want this text on top of it. First thing we need to do is select the clip and hold Alt or Option if you're on a Mac, click and drag to duplicate and that will put it on top. And now we're going to hop into the color page down here. We can see that we're working with the clip we want to change because it has this orange bar underneath it. The frame that you start on for this really just depends on the object that you wanna mask out. You mainly just wanna have most of it visible on the frame that we're going to be masking. To start the mask, you click this little window icon and we'll click on the curve icon right here. I'm zooming in with the scroll wheel, clicking and holding on the middle mouse just to navigate around here. And I'm just gonna go through here and click and click and click and just make a mask. And finally, I'm going to connect these and nothing really happened. I'm going to track the mask onto this object. So I just hit this little target icon to go to the tracker. I'm going to select these back and forth arrows and that's going to go through the whole clip front and back and track everything. Tracking's done, but we still don't see the text. To do that, we're gonna come over to the node section and right click and hit add alpha output. And we're gonna take this blue square to the blue dot and boom, there's our text. This works really, really great. You can go in and fine tune things. If we go back over to the window section, we have softness, we can mess with inside and out, pretty much just adjust the mask on an individual level. So that's the first way to put text behind an object. For the second one, I thought we'd be a little bit more intricate and use a tree. So with a tree, you have all these leaves, all these openings, so it's harder to mask things out. You can't just draw around every little leaf. I mean, you could, but that's going to take forever. It's so just like before I added some text that I want in place, going to duplicate on top and come back into the color page. Now on the color page, we'll go over to our qualifier and just click on the sky. You're not going to notice anything. All you have to do is hit shift H and you can see everything that it's selected and it looks like crap, at least for this video. Yours may be different. You'll just mess with all these settings until you get the sky pretty much the only thing visible because that's what you're going to be removing out of this. Just to save time, I went ahead and keyed all mine out. And like before, we're going to right click, add alpha output and connect. Hit shift H again. And it kind of did the opposite. To invert this, we're going to click this icon right here. And that will invert our selection. So now we have the text behind the tree. You can make this look way better if you just spend more time on it and just make sure you're keying everything out precisely. But this is a great free way in DaVinci to mask an object out so you can have text behind it. For those of you with the studio version of DaVinci, now we're getting to the fun part. We have this guy just walking down a building, some columns around him. We could mask him again take forever. We could do the qualifier, but we have all these other colors, all these different luminance. That's not going to look very good. Duplicate on top and come into the color page. What we're going to look for is the magic mask. To get to that, just click this magic mask icon right here. And you want to click person mask. Cool thing is you can also do features. So if you're only wanting to get rid of a part of the person, not the entire person, you can choose that. But because of this, we're just going to choose person. I'm going to draw a little line. You could try to draw the line all over to make sure you're getting everything. However, when we go to track it, you'll see that any sort of movement can throw the tracking off and it's not gonna look very good. Let's go ahead and toggle on the mask overlay just so we can make sure that it is masking out exactly what we want. Switch it to better. Don't switch to better if you have a slower computer, just for a heads up. Now we're gonna hit track forward. Tracking is done like before. Let's right click add alpha and toggle the mask off just so you can see it. And you'll notice there's some little jagged edges and we can just go through and play with the smart refine. Can shrink a little bit of that. 
denoise it and you just add some subtle changes to this. Just like the other one, you can always spend more time on it and get it more fine tuned. Most people aren't gonna notice little imperfections of things like this, especially if you're doing this for a YouTube video. This next clip is a little bit tricky. We're gonna do something similar to the last one, but you're gonna notice there's some differences. For one, the camera was moving a lot, so we're gonna have to track the text. Also, we have an animal. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. But this time we will not put our text on the edit page. We're actually going to put our text inside Fusion. So get to Fusion, you just hit this magic wand icon down here. So we need to add text in. You can just grab the text right here, drop it in. And if you don't see it, you can always hit the little first dot here and open up dual view up here. I went ahead and just added my text. And normally what we'd have to do is we would just add a merge node and put our text in there. It just stays there the whole time, but we need to track it. So I'm gonna get rid of this merge node. We don't need that. We're gonna add a tracker and look for something to track, specifically something that has a lot of contrast. I'm gonna grab the little square on this corner and I'm gonna go to this, I don't know, a rock or something right here and grabbing the corners here, just to kind of narrow down the section so it's not tracking a whole lot of the image and it'll help go a lot faster. The next thing we need to do is on operation, we need to go to match move, go back to trackers, under adaptive mode, I'm gonna hit every frame and let's go ahead and track it forward. Go back to where the first keyframe is and now we'll track backwards. Great, now our tracker is done. We can add our text on top of this tracker and the text is tracked to the ground. This is great, but I need to move it just to make sure it's in the right position with the text node selected. Look for transform. With this transform node, I'm just gonna move it over and scale it down a bit. Now we have tracked text. So now that looks a heck of a lot better. We're gonna go back over to our edit page and duplicate this. And we're gonna hop over to the color page. We're going to go back to our magic mask. And this time don't click person, just stay on object. Drag a line on the dog. Track front and back. Going to add the alpha output. Works pretty good, but we do have a little issue like the collar kind of coming out. So if you have an issue like this where the mask just kind of doesn't work good, you can always just make sure that the plus is selected and just move that on there. We can still add a bit more there and retrack. This is the last way to put text behind a subject in DaVinci. Here's a shot of a lady fanning herself with some money and there's a background, pretty much a static camera shot. This is gonna be kind of similar to the others. We'll throw some text on her, duplicate, and hop into the color page. For this one, we're going to add the depth map. So we'll come up to FX and type in depth map, drag that on. We have a black and white image. And what it's doing is anything in the foreground is gonna be white, anything in the background is gonna be black. Think of this as the qualifier tool that we used earlier to key out the sky. Pretty much just doing the same thing, but it's using AI to figure out what's in the fore and background. To make this look really good, obviously have better quality checked. Post-processing, click that on. And we'll adjust the levels. For this one, we wanna make the background as black as possible and the foreground as white as possible. These settings will be different for everybody depending on what video you're working with. We're going to click Death Map Preview off just so we can see the image again and right click Add Alpha Output, reconnect that. This is probably my favorite way to do this. Again, it does depend on what type of shot you're working with. But result wise, I really like this one. Those are five ways that you can put text behind an object in DaVinci Resolve. And if you found value in this, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for new DaVinci Resolve videos that have coming out. And check out this video that the algorithm thinks you would like to watch next. Come on, just click it. Click it. Click it.